Hi everybody! If you're like me, then you know that Colossal Order is going to be releasing City Skylines 2 later this year. It was just announced earlier today at the Paradox Game Show, and I was thinking it would be super fun to compare the original City Skylines 1 trailer with the new City Skylines 2 trailer that we saw today. And I'm going to do a full breakdown on what we got the first time around with City Skylines 1 and what I think we're going to be getting with City Skylines 2 based off the trailer this time. The original City Skylines was very cartoony and cutesy, however, based off of the City Skylines 2 trailer, it looks like the game is headed in the direction that many of us wanted, featuring hyper-realistic textures and super-realistic buildings, etc. The trailer also seems to be hinting at a lot of new mechanics, some of which I actually predicted. So let's go ahead and watch the two trailers, compare them, and see what we can expect for City Skylines 2. So right off the bat, you can see the style is super simplistic and almost looks like a dollhouse or diorama. Um, it's clearly meant to be sort of like a similar styled competitor to SimCity. And everything, all the vehicles and houses look plasticky and fake. Here we get a sneak peek at construction and some zoning, as well as transit routing and a little bus stop. So City Skylines started out as a simple, goofy city simulator, but today, the game is very different. Today's City Skylines players, especially on PC, have transformed the game using mods and special assets to be something a lot more realistic. Players have access to mods like Move It and Traffic Manager, as well as things like LUTs and alternative themes for the maps with higher resolution textures. You can even design your own roads and road markings with some mods. So as we can see, the base game, even though it started off as a SimCity competitor, has transformed into something even better than it was originally intended to be, with the help of the City Skylines community and of course the developers at Colossal Order. That's why we were all so excited to see the new trailer today. Let's get into it. It's time to start from the beginning. Yet evolve into something new. This city has a story. Envision a world created by you. Your chance to shape the future. To create and inspire. Expand way up high and bring life to your creations. New worlds to explore and pursue.
Here, you are the visionary. You are the creator. You make cities. Already there's hyper-realistic graphics, granted not actual gameplay, um, but the graphics look so good. Um, and we've got this expansive worldview just off the get-go. Complex interchanges, like what's shown here. I mean, this roundabout looks amazing. It looks like economic disparities seem to be a feature in the game, not just a matter of land value anymore, but literal visual changes as we progress from lower income areas to higher income areas. Also, I noticed cars parking on the curb. Um, really excited about that, actually. More excited than I should be. There's also window reflections. Um, I don't know if, you know, probably not at every draw distance scale will we get reflections. I mean, even the rainwater here looks amazing. We definitely have ships and harbors. Super excited about more substantial harbors that we could be building. I mean, take a look at this beautiful bridge and those buildings. We have seasons, which is something I predicted and I'm super excited to see in City Skylines 2. Also, if you look here, we can create our own ponds, maybe? Um, so we've got some different water features in here. This might be a boathouse building in the park. And also, we've got a lot more buildings from real life in the game. Like, this is literally One World Trade Center in New York City. Construction cranes, detailed construction visuals. I'm actually pretty excited about that as well. Right here, right here. The only glimpse of public transit we see in the game, I guess aside from the cabs, there's cabs and buses. In this entire trailer, we do not see trains or subways or trams or any, any of that stuff, but I do expect it'll be in the game. It's just not in this trailer. More crane footage. An airplane, that's the other public transit we got a glimpse into. Here's some big cranes. A beautiful bridge. I mean, look at that, that's exciting. I think we get a couple options in one of the shots coming up. Right here, bridge number one, bridge number two. And then this full shot, and can you see what I'm seeing? There's another city on the horizon. It looks like we're getting multiple cities in one game or on one map, which is so exciting. Um, here again, the One World Trade Center building. This actually looks kind of like it's meant to be a little like New York City-esque map here. Like this is Manhattan, this is Roosevelt Island, Queens and Brooklyn. I mean, it's not one-to-one, -one, but I, I noticed that because I'm living in New York. I'm so excited for City Skylines 2 to be released. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. What do you think will be coming to City Skylines 2? Are you excited? Did you like what you saw in the trailer? How do you feel about the original City Skylines now that we've seen these amazing graphics in the City Skylines 2 trailer? And be sure to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!